Hey everyone, this is Kitten Lady, and I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my orphaned kitten routine. Um, so the routine that you do for their care is the same every single time, um, and you're gonna do this in uh, increments of every couple hours, depending on how old they are. Um, so Boop is about three weeks old, um, so I'm doing this with her about every four hours right now. Um, but when they're younger, you need to do it more frequently. So if you have like a brand new baby, you're gonna be doing this every two hours. Um, if they're one or two weeks old, uh, you can do this about every three hours. Um, right now, she's getting this every four hours. Um, as you can see, she's ready to nurse. She's trying to nurse on my fingers because she does associate my hands with food. So she's anxious to get eating. Um, so let's do her care routine. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do um, is get them to pee. Um, I use tissues, I prefer this, I use like a couple tissues because especially with an older kitten like this, um, she's going to pee quite a bit. So um, to get them to pee, you're just going to stimulate their little rear, um, so I'll try to show you guys so you can see what that looks like. Um, you're just going to gently rub. And Boop says, oh my gosh, you're making me pee on live television. How rude. But they should pee every single time that you do this. Um, and you want to keep doing this until they've stopped peeing. So you can actually like see her peeing and now she's stopped. So it's just going to absorb the pee there. And that's it. So now she's done peeing. Um, hopefully they will poop. Uh, at least once a day, but they don't usually poop every single time. So she pooped earlier. She's not going to poop right now. Um, but you know, don't be alarmed if they don't poop every single time. They usually poop about once a day. Um, so that is your first step. The next step is feed them. Okay. So I've got her little bottle here. Um, this is full of kitten milk replacer and it's nice and warm. Um, you're going to test it on your wrist to make sure that it's not too hot. Um, it should be comfortably warm and then you're gonna feed her. So of course when I feed her, the first thing I do is get her in the right posture. Um, sometimes I see people trying to feed a kitten on their back, like a human baby, like this, and that's not a safe way to feed a kitten. You wanna feed them um, with their belly down in a natural position. So we're gonna get her in a natural position, and you're gonna hold their head so that they are ready to go. Now she's a pretty eager eater, so she probably is going to like freak out and attack the bottle. Um, so some tips are, you know, putting this in their mouth, holding their head so that it's where you want it to be. Um, and then slightly, slightly applying pressure so that a little bit of the formula drips out into her mouth. Um, you don't want to squeeze too much because you don't want her to aspirate. Um, they can choke, they can squeeze the formula down into their lungs and that's very dangerous for them. So just a gentle, gentle bit of pressure to get it going. Um, so I'm holding her head, I'm squeezing just a little bit, and there we go. We've got a nice latch. And you're just going to kind of like apply equal pressure as she's eating. They'll usually tell you when they're done. Um, there is a nice feeding chart on my website to show you how much a kitten should be eating by um, age. But right now she is at three weeks old. She's eating about a tablespoon um, every meal. Um, so you can see she's got a little bit of milk on her face and then she has a little bit of pee on her little butt. Um, so the very, very last step here is that you're going to clean them. Um, I do a lot of this stuff on the go, so I really like using these biodegradable pet wipes. Um, that's what I use. And I just kind of wipe her whole body down anywhere that might have gotten dirty. Um, and that's going to keep her clean. It's important to clean, you know, anytime they pee because they can get urine scald, um, where their little back end gets raw from all of the urine. So um, clean her nice and good on her little backside. Um, you know, make sure you get the legs and everything, the tail. Um, so she stays nice and clean. Um, and then we'll get one more. Um, actually, we'll just use, she didn't get that much on her face. So we're just going to wipe down her face. Of course, you want to do it with a wet cloth if um, they end up with a lot of formula on their face so that their face doesn't get dirty or crusty. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, so it's pretty fast. You can see this whole process takes about three minutes and then she's ready to go. She just goes right back into her little warm space. 
um, goes back to sleep, and that's pretty much what an orphaned kitten does for the first three or four weeks of life. Um, they pee, they poop, they eat, they get cleaned up, and then they hang out in their warm, safe space. Um, so that's my kitten routine, and this is Boop. Thank you for watching, and good luck this kitten season.